What's going on everyone? Crush back here with another video. Hope everyone's doing great, having a good day. I know I am. And today I have another story time with you guys starring Shaowen, the father. Now, if you're wondering why I'm calling this particular individual, which first of all, if you don't know who Sean the father is, um let me refer you to a few of these story times I'm displaying on the screen. This is all about Sean the father and the craziness that he's done in my high school. This man is a pure menace. This man has just, he just, I, I don't even know how to describe him. I've never met anyone like him. This guy just somehow finds a way to be one of the biggest dickheads in the school but finding a way of making it one of the funniest things ever. So this guy could be giving you a wedgie in the cafeteria in front of everybody, but you would be laughing along with the crowd. This guy just makes everything funny while being a big dickhead. So I don't know. I don't know how to describe this guy. He's just a figure and um, yeah. But if you're wondering why I call him Sean the Father in some of my live streams and other story times, well, let me explain why I call him in this story time. So today's story time takes place in 11th grade a few years ago i think this was in 2016 i want to say so this takes place in my friend john which big shout out to john by the way y'all have seen him on the streams before it takes place in his science class now i don't remember exactly what science class this was i'm guessing it was like biology or chemistry or some shit like that you know and sean and my friend john they were both in the same chemistry class or whatever science class together you know and sean was usually kind of behaved in that class i want to say according to john he was pretty well behaved he wouldn't really do too too much that would piss anyone off i'm sure he would do stuff here and there you know and just mess with people but he would listen to the teacher i know for a fact that this specific teacher she was actually my iep because because i have dyslexia so she actually helped me out a little bit when i was in high school with um i guess accommodation stuff like that here and there which i never really used but i know her enough where i know she's a good person so the fact that sean respected her was not that surprising to me she was a really nice person she was the volleyball coach and just super super chill you know and I think she was actually a deadhead as well which let your boy Lester be he loves his deadheads you know but with that being said like I said Sean really was well behaved I want to say for the most part in that class I'm sure that the teacher would occasionally get on him here and there for just talking too loud or something like that I think John also mentioned that one of Sean's victims I want to say victims in air quotes okay was also in that class which Sean would mess around with which which that's a whole different story time this specific person named Jimmy, he would trick Jimmy into doing stupid shit that would just cause everyone to laugh for the most part. He would trick Jimmy into running into poles. And it, it's this is better than reality TV. Reality TV sucks, man, because reality TV is not real. But Sean in my high school, Sean made everything real. Everything Sean did was 100% real. And I just, if I could relive my high school just watching the dumbass shit Sean did, I would gladly do it okay and when i say i would relive high school i'm not saying it in the weird way where you know some people just peak in high school and that's it i'm saying it in a way where i can watch sean mess with the kid <laughs> which that doesn't sound good but i don't give a shit because it was just so entertaining but anyway, Sean and Jimmy, that saga, I'll probably eventually tell it on the channel because it's just such a great story time. But um, for now, we're just going to go back and rewind back to Sean in the science class, okay? Now, like I said, Sean was pretty well behaved for the most part, would barely get in trouble. But the teacher in that class, she actually got pregnant and I guess uh, halfway through the semester. I'm not actually sure when she was due, but I guess at some point in the school year, it was her due date. Because eventually she left for, I think, maternity leave for a few months until the next school year you know so she obviously isn't around for the whole rest of the school year so when Sean finds out that she's leaving Sean immediately starts celebrating I guess Sean was friends with um I guess a teacher's pet that told him that she would be out for the rest of the year and she was expected to have her baby soon so Sean being the just menace of society he is he hatches an evil Sean plan the next day which I feel like is the, on the same level as Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Times Doofenshmirtz comes up with a plan to try and foil Perry the platypus and Sean in this case tries to find a plan to just spoil the whole class's mood or whatever and 
turn, you know, turn that frown upside down. Sean's in town type of deal, you know? He turns a whole boring science class into a fucking frat party somehow. But yeah, going off of what I just said, Sean found out that the teacher's maternity leave just started and that she wouldn't be back in school. I'm guessing because we had an A day, B day type schedule. So like we would have one set of classes one day and we'd have another set of classes the next day. And I guess the teacher's pet told Sean on one of the days he wasn't in that science class that she was gone now. So Sean, like I said, he hatched his plan and he was going to act out and he was going to execute that plan just like Dark Sidious executed Order 66 the next day. I bet Sean was in his head. He's just like, good. The puzzle pieces are going together. Just wait. We will do this, Lord Vader. Which I don't know why I'm saying Lord Vader because number one, Sean's a solo YOLO guy, you know. He'll take anyone down to make himself on top. And number two, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I guess I'm just retarded, you know. So the next day, the whole class is just chilling. They're just minding their own business again. I'm pretty sure that they were talking to themselves, but nothing particularly exciting was going on. They were just having a good time, you know, in science class, including John. And John was just chilling in the class. He was talking with his friends, doing his thing, you know, and he's wondering, hey, Sean's not in the class. That's kind of weird, you know? But then again, I guess John thought that Sean was skipping because Sean, in case you haven't been able to tell, is kind of a guy that doesn't play by the rules. If he doesn't feel like coming to class, he just won't come to class. And I guess John thought Sean was doing something like that or he was going in another classroom. And I figured that since Sean realized that the teacher would no longer be there, he could just for some reason, you know, never come back to the class again or if he wanted to. So it was something like that. But no, 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 that was not part of Sean plan Sean's plan was not to leave Sean's plan was to indeed come back to class but he was gonna come back in style you know he wasn't just gonna walk in the room and just take a seat or you know do whatever Sean normally does he's a showman you know he had he loves the attention on himself and which is exactly what Sean ended up doing later that day right when the bell rang and I'm pretty sure the doors closed at that point uh, the class was getting started and there was still no Sean but a couple of minutes later right when the substance started talking and giving out worksheets for people to do the door busts open it slams open real quick and guess who walks in your boy sean dude literally busted in like the kool-aid man i can't think of any other analogy to compare this to you know and when sean came in Oh, buddy. Like I said, he's a showman, and boy, did Sean show off. Sean immediately starts yelling. Sean immediately is like, Everyone, gather around. I need to tell you something. And anyone that was talking or didn't pay attention to the giant door busting open, which I don't know how you couldn't pay attention to a door slamming in the classroom, but anyone that wasn't paying attention, which was probably nobody, uh, all looks at Sean, you know, everyone's looking at Sean, everyone, including the substitute. Now, I do have to mention a very important key factor in the story. Sean did not look at the substitute. I think Sean figured that the substitute was going to be someone that he's dealt with before, because in case he can't tell again sean doesn't play by the rules and do most substitutes like kids that don't play by the rules no and many substitutes have gotten pissed off at sean i mean i literally have another story time which i'll put on the screen of sean pissing off a substitute you know it's one of my favorite stories so y'all should definitely check that out and i think sean figured that the substitute would be one of those guys and he would just tell the sub to fuck off or something and then he would go to the office and you know, woohoo, win for Sean, I guess. But yeah, without looking at the substitute, Sean gets everyone's attention. He makes sure everyone's looking at him. And then Sean makes an announcement, which I think everyone in that class will never forget. I don't know where this guy comes up with this stuff. It, it, I don't know if he's read in a comic book or, you know, if he saw this on X videos or if, you know, he was high as hell going in, which it could have been all three at the same time. But either way, Sean's a genius for saying this. Sean starts yelling. He's getting everyone's attention he yells everyone i have an announcement to make the teacher and he said the teacher's name and i'm not going to say her name the doctor because she's such a nice person the teacher is pregnant and i'm the father <laughs> And Sean, I shit you not yelled that word for word. And I don't know if he yelled anything else. He probably did, but that was the general gist of what he yelled. And after he yelled that, 
dude oh my lord everyone was looking at him people were laughing their ass off just like sean i can't believe you just said that this is the first or second day that the teacher's been gone and there was other people that started chiming in trying to antagonize him further they're like sean wait hold on how did you get the teacher pregnant you've always been in class and then sean just starts screaming i fucked her doggy style on the toilet <laughs> Which, oh my god, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And again, keep in mind that Sean still was not looking at who the substitute was. He just did not give a shit. He was busy entertaining everyone. People were either rolling on the ground laughing, or any preppy kids that were in that class probably had their hands folded, giving them a very angry look. Or, and I'm sure some of the girls in the class had their hand over their mouth, but they were probably dying on the inside. You know, everyone has their own way of expressing humor. And after Sean's paying attention to everyone's reaction, he finally decides to look over and see who the substitute was. He figured it would be some old boomer that he's dealt with before and he would just tell them to fuck off and you know that would be that it would be that simple you know but it was not an old substitute in fact it was not someone he's ever dealt with before he may have met this person before but he's never had a class with them nor has this person ever been a substitute for him before to sean's shock this substitute that was subbing in for the regular teacher was the teacher's best friend me myself at my current job i'm not really friends with anyone like i view my coworkers as acquaintances you know and i mean i'm cool with shit with everyone and maybe eventually i'll hang out with y'all outside of work but for now we're just acquaintances you know but because the teacher has been at that school for so long she's obviously gotten close with a few of the other teachers and this specific one they were about the same age and they like the same shit i guess so they were just destined to be friends you know so after <laughs> after the substitute the other teacher heard that she immediately starts getting furious the best way i can describe it is one of those angry stick figures from the instagram memes um i'll display one on the screen so y'all can see what i'm talking about and she just has her hands folded looking so pissed off at sean she cannot believe what she heard you know which to be fair i think that's kind of her fault as well because i feel like Sean has a reputation in that school that's big enough where people should know that Sean's either a really decent dude or he's a really big dude dickhead you know and how he treats other teachers in the building should reflect on his reputation you know and i feel like just everyone knows who he is so the fact that you act like you know it's something new that sean would do this i feel is partially on you you know obviously most of the blame is still on sean you know for saying that but i feel like she kind of got bamboozled just a little bit at least she has the face of a bamboozled person you know but after sean looks at her she immediately starts talking my question question though is why did she wait so long to you know actually say something to sean why didn't she shut him down immediately because i mean i'm not gonna lie if some if i had a female friend that just went into labor or whatever and had a baby and some kid starts making a big joke i would probably get pissed off you know now if you're saying it the way sean said it i actually might start laughing because i'm a piece of shit you know <laughs> <laughs> but and i've but i have a sense of humor though myself you know and um i would start laughing if it's funny you know and i'd probably be like dude just shut up and sit down like come on that's inappropriate don't make me write you up or something like that i'm cool with people you know that's just how i am but this teacher was silent and angry which i i, I, I I don't know i just don't understand that you know but anyway after he looks at her she immediately starts talking to him sean that is extremely inappropriate i cannot believe you just said that the teacher said that you were actually somewhat behaved in this class which clearly you are not you need to go to the office which again why are you acting like you're shocked of course sean's gonna do some shit like this this is sean we're talking about you know sean will do anything He'll do anything. He doesn't even ask for money. He'll just do it. You know, he's crazy. But after that happened, I feel like Sean actually got shocked a little bit because this was a teacher that he was just not expecting to be in the you know in the science teacher's place so but anyway after the teacher's done chewing him out and sean just standing there like a deer in headlights he ends up getting moved to a different classroom uh i don't know if anything actually happened further besides that but he was still in that class the rest of the year and as far as i know he was decently well behaved from that point on which i don't know i, I just find it weird that one teacher 
would actually make Sean act like a deer in headlights, you know? It just seems weird to me, but, but anyway, that was the story. I guess, uh, the lesson here is to, I don't know, have some humor, in my opinion, because I think that what Sean did was a legendary move, and I think the teacher should have just had a sense of humor, you know, and I think Sean did nothing wrong, free my boy Sean, you know, it's not his fault that he's banging teachers out here, so... Anyway, though, but on a real note, guys, I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment what your favorite part was on this story if you had one. So, anyway, see y'all later. Peace.